Hey, what is going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and we're talking about iOS 14.3. It's been a week since this update has been released to the public, bringing a ton of big new features and changes to iOS 14. So in this video, we're going to take a deeper look into iOS 14.3 and we're going to take a look at some awesome hidden features that you will be able to find on iOS 14.3. Starting things off with a new app that you will find on iOS 14.3. Now this is really interesting. If you go to the spotlight search and search for code scanner, you will find now an icon which will open the code scanning feature of iOS. Now you can see right here, opening that icon, it will open this UI right here where you can of course go ahead and scan codes. Now you see here have the flash button and this is the same interface as you get with the control center button. So if you go to control center, you have the QR code scanner right here. You will get the same exact interface. But now on iOS 14.3, I'm pretty sure this is new. It will pop up also as an icon right here on the spotlight search. Now you won't be able to find it anywhere else. I tried app library, it wasn't there. It's just there on the spotlight search. Now, if you don't have it here on the control center, you can enable this by going to settings, go to control center, and you will find right here the code scanner. You can see it's the, exactly the same, same icon, same name as the one on control center. So right here on the spotlight search, a new icon for the code scanner. This of course, probably because of the new app clip feature, they make it way easier for you to access code scanner directly from the spotlight search if you don't have it on the control center. The Shortcuts app has also seen quite a lot of changes on iOS 14.3 and there is a new hidden feature. If you go to add an action, you will see that now you can add editing. So if you go to editing, if you just search for editing right here, you will be able to find different shortcuts, different basically actions to edit different stuff like from calendar reminders, contacts, music playlists and all that. So if I go to contacts right here, you can see we have edit contact. This is the new action that has been added with iOS 14.3. So you can see you will find these basically for different apps like stock apps, of course, for the calendar, you can basically edit calendar events. So right here, you can see edit calendar event. You can set the detail right here. You can set the calendar event. And of course, you will be able to add other actions as well. So editing actions for stock apps on the Shortcuts app. A very cool new feature that I found on Twitter. Someone posted this screenshot. So it's basically a pop-up asking you to turn off the alarm when your device knows that you're awake and you have an alarm for that morning. So let's say you have the alarm at 8 a.m. You wake up at 7 a.m. It knows you're up and it will ask you if you want to turn off the alarm. I'm pretty sure this is a feature that will show up on your device if you have the sleep mode enabled and if you use sleep mode on your device otherwise you won't be able to see this i'm pretty sure that's the case because i haven't i tried to replicate this and i haven't had the chance to see this pop up on my device now of course the new privacy features on the app store now apple did mention this but it wasn't a feature that was released right off when iOS 14.3 got released. Basically, it was pushed afterwards. This is like a server-based feature and all that. So if you go ahead and go to one of the apps on the App Store and scroll all the way down, you can see here app privacy. So it shows all the different details you need to know regarding the privacy. So you have data linked to you and data not linked to you. And you can see them in details right here. Now, of course, you can tap on one of them and then it will show the full list here, the app privacy section, and then the full list of different data right here. Of course, again, data linked to you, and it shows the description there, and it will also show all the different data that are not linked to you. So you can see all the different details can be seen right here, simply by tapping on either one of them, it will show you all the different details on the list. Another feature that wasn't released last week when iOS 14.3 got out, but it got pushed afterwards, is a new tab on the TV app. So is the new Originals tab that will basically show you Originals for Apple TV Plus. So you will have it as the second tab right here. And you can see right here, this new tab basically shows all the different original stuff right here. So if you use Apple TV Plus, then you will have the chance to have this new original section on the TV app. 
on a previous video I did last week, I showed you guys a new feature of iOS 14.3. It's basically a new feature on Siri. So Siri now can tell you how different instruments, sounds and cars sound like. All you have to do is of course ask Siri, Hey Siri, Hey Siri, how does a lion sound like? And as you can see right there at the top, it will show you the knowledge part right there, the audio sample. And of course you can tap right there to see more details regarding whatever you have asked for. Really, really cool. So if you're interested on different animals, different sounds from different instruments, you can now just go ahead and ask Siri with iOS 14.3. A pretty cool new feature that Apple has introduced with iOS 14.3 are the new animated cover arts on music app. They look pretty cool of course, but they will consume data and of course they consume processing power as well. But you will have the chance to disable them and you can do that by going to the music settings. So under music you will see now animated cover art, right here you will have the chance to completely turn them off or to use them on Wi-Fi only. So they consume data, so you will have here the option to use them on Wi-Fi only, of course, if you have a limited data plan. Another thing that will impact the animated cover arts is reduced motion. So if you go to your settings, go to accessibility, go to motion and have reduced motion turned on, just know that this will disable the animated cover arts. So if you have reduced motion turned on and you're wondering why these are not working that's the problem so if you want them to work then you will have to go ahead and disable reduce motion another hidden feature can be found under the subscription settings on your apple id on the settings app if you have family members on your iCloud account, you will find a new button right here that will allow you to enable share subscriptions. So any new subscriptions will be able to be shared automatically with your family members. So of course, that's only if you have that feature turned on, then you will see a new section right here. Another thing I've noticed on iOS 14.3 is that when you translate a page with a new translation feature on Safari, now you will have the option here to report a translation issue. So right here, tap there, and you will get the option here to report to Apple for any translation issues. I'm not sure I've seen this before. This probably is a new feature on iOS 14.3. Besides all the cool new features, iOS 14.3 also fixes a lot of bugs. There have been numerous reports about bugs on iMessage and auto brightness. So those two have been fixed. The problem with iMessage that people weren't receiving notifications for their messages, this has been fixed. And also there was a problem with auto brightness that a lot of people have been experiencing that has been fixed as well. Now, of course, not everyone will encounter these bugs. Personally, I haven't encountered any one of these bugs, but according to reports, these have been fixed now by Apple. And of course, that's really great. Otherwise, I was 14.3 has been amazing performance wise and battery wise very very good now i had it since beta one performance really great very very smooth didn't encounter any like major bugs glitches or stuff like that also the battery life has been pretty good i'm pretty sure it's a bit better than i was 14.2 of course with every new update we get improvements bug fixes and all that so on i was 14.3 very good performance and decent battery life so iOS 14.3 now available to the public and next we have iOS 14.4. Right now iOS 14.4 has been released on beta 1 and of course it will go through a few beta stages before getting released to the public. I'm quite sure Apple probably won't release another beta this year as we're getting to the end of the year and now we have all the different holidays and all that stuff so probably they will wait until january 2021 to release a second beta so you can expect that update to come probably sometime in february until then you will have ios 14.3 which again is a great update that's basically it guys this is ios 14.3 and all its hidden features thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe for more ios news and i'll see you guys on the next one